Is it live or is it video on demand? Well, what I try to do is film this video direct, one shot, one take, one kill, and finish the video. Now lately, I've been using an editor. So you're going to hear some bells and whistles and you're going to see uh, some uh, content changes, right? The, uh, all of a sudden I'll be speaking about two people and you'll see two people before the screen. So we'll see where that goes. It's been very popular lately. How do I arrive at these topics? Well, I write a monthly uh, article in a newspaper. I write a weekly newsletter and uh, blog posts. So I'm always on the lookout for content and I take uh, information that I learn, uh, people that I deal with, and I also field questions. Question posed to me today was, can I make a trust for my child? That question came with very little context. It was by email. And uh, so it's a great question. Thank you for your question. Now, I don't know much about it. So let me talk about it and attack it in a few different ways. Well, a child, a minor, anyone under the age of 18 is a minor, is a child, a four month old, a two month old, a toddler, a 16 year old, all children. Children are under an incapacity. A child cannot enter into a contract, so a child cannot create a trust. Now, is this a child with special needs? Would the parents be preparing a special needs trust for the benefit of this child? Could be, and that's definitely an entire category of trusts. Special needs, so that a child can have a, a, an impaired child, a child with de developmental delays, a child in such a position can have assets inside of the trust for the benefit of the child and while permitting the parents to obtain government benefits. A different type of trust would be a trust for a parent that creates a trust and has their child as the beneficiary of the trust. Coincidentally, I spoke with a client today that I'm preparing a trust for her and she has three children and one of the children is 16 years old. So we were figuring out, I don't figure anything out. I present information and I allow the client to take what I, what I give them and they figure it out with my help. This given client would like the assets ultimately to be split in three ways, A, B, and C will get one third, one third, one third. One of the children is a minor and the share for that minor child will be held in trust until a later point. So in a way, that's really how I would think about the question that was posed to me today uh, because it didn't get presented in a way that I understood the person was the child with special needs. So if it's a child that has no uh, special needs and you just want to preserve and protect the assets for the benefit of the child, well then you do it inside of a uh, parent's trust and you leave proceeds or distribution to that child uh, inside of a trust and they could secure that at the age of, uh, they could obtain it at the age of 25 or 35 or whatever you might, whatever's good for your situation, right? That's what dictates the way we provide solutions. What do you want? What do you need? When do you need it? We figure it all out. We figure it all out together.